you are a Leeds, former Leeds manager and a Leeds fan, so give us your instant reaction to the Sam news. Well, it's, I think it's a great appointment, to be fair, not, not just because I'm on the podcast uh, for him, <laughs> but it's, uh, I think he's the right person at the right time of the season to try and galvanise a team that's struggling, that needs to shore up the defence, that needs to get points however they can do. And um, there's no better man to go and do it than Sam at this moment in time. And uh, I have texted him this morning to say all the best. Welcome to the biggest team in the world. And you better keep my football club up or else uh, I will get no guests for you to come on this mm. podcast ever again. <laughs> so let's hope that uh, hopefully he can do what every Leeds fan wants him to do. And that's uh, enough points to stay in the Premier League. What did you think when you saw the news? I mean, it, it happened all very quickly, Tim. Sam to Leeds. What was your initial sort of thoughts? Well, I thought it was inevitable that Garcia had to go. You know, it was just they were just sleepwalking into the championship. And like Simon said, it's a great club, huge fan base, magnificent place to go and play. Um, and having waited so long to come to the Premier League um, for it to be taken away from them so soon, no one wants to see it. Let's be honest. Uh, anyone who loves football doesn't want Leeds United out of the, out of the Premier League. They've they've spent so many years trying to work their way back there. Bielsen took them there. They've changed their managers numerous times now. So you need someone, even though it's a short period of time, four games just to steady the ships. <laughs>